to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to talk about comparing integers. That means positive and negative numbers. So let's look at our first example. 4 comparing to negative 6. 4 is greater than negative 6. Negative 12 comparing to negative 8. Negative 8 is larger, so we're going to use a less than symbol. Absolute value of negative 6 compared to the negative absolute value of negative 6, and that is also a greater than symbol. Now let's go over and talk about the rules of comparing integers. The first symbol is this symbol right here, and this is the less than symbol. And the way I remember it, it actually looks like the letter L, less than. So maybe that's a little key visual that can help you. The um, symbol switched around is greater than, and notice it does not look like an L. It's a backwards L, so it can't be less than, and of course equal to. Now those are the symbols, and that's the way I remember the less than symbol. Now let's go down and look at our number line. When you're comparing integers, anything to the left is smaller than anything to the right. So what you can do is actually look at your number line and use some comparisons to compare which one's greater than or less than. So anything to the left is smaller than anything on the right. So let's look at our, run through these three examples. So let's erase these and then discuss them. Okay, the first one is 4 comparing to negative 6. I'm actually going to use the number line for this. Mm -hmm. So we have 4, and then we have negative 6. Negative 6 is to the left of positive 4. So 4 has to be greater than negative 6. When we're writing our comparison, we always want to use the symbol, the small symbol pointing towards the smaller number. So that is smaller, negative 6 is smaller than positive 4. Now let's compare a negative 12 to a negative 8. These are both negative integers, and often students will say 12 is greater than 8, so 12 is larger. But in negatives, it's actually the opposite. Negative 12 is way over here to the left, and here is negative 8. And notice negative 8 is actually larger, so that means I'm going to draw a less than symbol. Negative 12 is less than negative 8. Now let's look at the absolute value. When you take absolute values, you're always going to take the positive because the definition of absolute value is the distance from zero. So negative 6 is actually 6 units away from zero, so that's a positive 6. And we're going to compare that to the negative of the absolute value. Well, the absolute value of negative 6 is positive 6. So really we're comparing positive 6 to negative 6. Positives are always larger than negatives, so we're going to point or use the smaller symbol towards the smaller number. So that is 6 is greater than negative 6. So use a practice link for more practice problems.